And we turn now to that volcano in Chile, forcing evacuations, burying communities in ash. The plume from that eruption visible from space, drifting all the way to the other side of the continent. Our Matt Gutman right there up in a chopper today, bringing us an unparalleled view of that beauty and the threat that looms. The volcano ate city-sized chimney, hovering so close we could see each steaming vent erupting spectacularly on Wednesday and pumping out untold tons of toxic gas and ash since. Earlier today, we climbed on with Chilean geologists hoping to learn more about what's now being called the world's most unpredictable volcano. Scouting at first, and then the airmen opened the door. So the door the helicopter is open right now. They're using that camera to get thermal imagery of the volcano to see what's really going on inside. And to try to forecast whether or not there will be another eruption. Geologist Hugo Moreno telling me they're now detecting lava. The volcano actually grew over the past few days. This dome is new, spewing out a finer ash now and gases. We could actually smell the gases from the volcano behind us. And as we scooted just above the treetops, the devastation. Three feet of ash and gravel covering pristine pastures. Homes buried. Communities marooned in a sea of sand and ash, streams boiled by the flows, and trees flattened and charred. Even with all the data they learned from today's flight, geologists here say they still can't predict when the next eruption will come, but they know that every piece of information they get may help them save lives in the future. Cecilia?